I pretended to add my number into this obnoxious guy's phone. All I did was edit his mum's contact. I hope she likes ding dong pics and booty calls. Oh, <laughs> that's the evilest thing I can imagine. That's hilarious. <laughs> this guy's gonna send a picture of his ding dong to his own mum and he'll just be like, oh, do you like it, baby? I can already picture it. Jesus, you're an evil genius. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am sick. <laughs> My fears came true and I'm sick, but I can't call in sick for work, so here I am. <laughs> Even though I am sick, I'm having a really good day today. We just hit 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. I spent all last night laying in bed reading comments and responding to you guys, and like, I'm so grateful for you. Just the amount of lovely comments. So yeah, thank you everyone for leaving such nice comments. I'm so grateful. Today's a very special day. We're checking out the Praying Mantis subreddit. A few of you guys suggested this subreddit, and it's basically just a whole bunch of creepy guys, isn't it? Perfect, that suits the channel. I can't wait. Let's jump right into it. I want to know how much pipe you're getting and compare it with mine. Uh, no. Why do you give a crap about other guys' ding-dongs? Will you just look at mine and tell me how it compares? Like a bot fly maggot. What? You want me to say it again? What do you mean by that? It looks just like this. You're mean. What? What did I do? I'll oh, get out of here. A yo, butt hurt. Yo, you were your maggot. Oh my god, absolutely destroyed. I don't think she could have made that any funnier. That was so good. What do you mean we're butthurt? Who's we? You and your maggot. <laughs> I really don't like thinking about that, but I'm sure it's probably a pretty good way to describe it. Terrifies me. Do you have a cute ass? Yeah, it is big and hairy. Like, very hairy. I tried shaving it, but it grows back way too far, so I just gave up. It kinda sucks though, because every time I take a dump, the crap gets stuck in the hairs, and it's impossible to clean it up. Men usually say I'm gross and that I smell bad but like dogs are big fluffy and have stuff hanging out of their blanks all of the time and even still everyone thinks they're cute. I don't get it. It's so sexist. The funny thing about it is these guys would take it seriously. They don't understand sarcasm whatsoever. They're so horny that that's like running their brain. They can't even think straight. I guarantee you he just sent a nude straight after that message. They don't care at all. Want to be my naughty girl again tonight? I don't know about being your naughty girl but I would love to help you on your very own hashtag A on boss lady journey. Did you know you have the potential to make a six figure salary? Ask me how. How? I want to make money. The title of this is a creep and a fool. That's so often the case with these guys. They're creepy and they're also dumb. Like I just said, they can't think straight because they're so damn horny. Yeah, I want to make a six figure salary right now and I want to be a millionaire overnight. Absolutely. Anything that gets me closer to you. How are you? Good. And you? Am good. Do you send pics? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Lots of people want to see my dog. Haha, <laughs> I didn't mean them kind of pics. But he's my dog. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Completely switch sides. This guy's like, yeah, oh, whatever. He's my dog. He's a big cutie, isn't he? It went from creepy as to really happy and wholesome really quickly. Or do you think he's just sending that so that like she trusts him more and it's all part of his big plan to get nudes? I don't know, man. You can't trust these guys. Hi. Hi. From Canada. Cool. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just sitting in bed. Alone. Yeah. Can you show me your body, please? Sorry, I would love to, but I don't have one. I was born with that one. They made a documentary about my life. Oh, sorry. Face? That's gone too. Tractor accident. Oh, okay. Bye. That one's kind of really sweet. I know you're talking about having a tractor accident. There's nothing nice about that. But the guy just left. He was like, oh, okay, sorry. Bye. Apparently you don't have a face or a body. I don't know what you are. You're just like two eyeballs or something. But bye. Sorry for bothering you. How sweet and reasonable this creepy guy is. Hey, if your left leg is Christmas and your right leg is Thanksgiving, then I could visit between the holidays. Uh, which one is Christmas? <laughs> Yuck. I used to have a remote control tarantula and it used to freak me out and I knew it was fake. All of you guys know I live in Australia. It's super like bushy, super foresty where I live. There's lots of wildlife and there's lots of big spiders and like dude any of that sort of stuff just freaks me out. So I'm gonna get this off the screen now. Bye scary spider. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good and yourself? Good. So what do I have to do to see those blanks next to my ding dong? You'd have to let me peg you first. No. Oh, you big sook. <laughs> These guys will say just about anything creepy, but they do have boundaries. But I'll say just about anything else that's like revolting. But no, that's where I draw the line. I'm not creepy. God, I'm just a nice guy. <laughs> Romeo, if orgasm is an art, then I am Picasso of it, baby. Can I play with you? Two tongue emojis and a love heart. Oh, how wholesome. Uh, dude, 
This is Picasso, and this is Picasso, and this is Picasso. What's this? Picasso paintings? Oh. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm not Picasso, baby. They try really hard. I'll give them that. Picasso's art is as abstract as this guy's thought process. 100%. I can never tell if these guys are like 14 or like 44. There seems to be no in-between either. Haley, show me your blank. Sure, here it is. You're ugly as hell. Honestly, I bet that's how messed up your blank is. <laughs> Thank you. LMAO, ugly biatch. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm real ugly. I'm so ugly that you asked me to show you my... But whatever, bro, that makes sense. You should never expect to have a logical conversation with a nice guy or a neck bit. What do you call these guys? They're just creepy guys, aren't they? You want to be my girlfriend? I don't know anything about you. Do you just ask every girl you barely know if they want to be your girlfriend? If so, how many do you have? No, I don't. Well, it seems like you would since you did to me. Kisses your cheek. Oh my god, wrong person. Don't look. You like the kiss? I like. Really? You do? Yeah. I want to suck on them. That's all. And I want to blank on them and suck milk out of them. Wow, you must really have a thing for another man's ass. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I'd laugh right now, but it hurts my throat. So <laughs> I'm going to try. My oh, that's the best thing ever. I've seen another one like this where they found a picture online of a guy's armpit that looked like, you know, <laughs> did the exact same thing. And they're still like, yeah, oh my God, baby. In saying that, this one was pretty convincing. That does look like a chest of a girl if you want it to. And these guys are so desperate, you know, that they'll see whatever they want to see. But I've seen some bad ones that are like pretty obvious and they're still like, oh yeah, baby. Creepy as hell. I'm looking for horny females. Are you interested? Am I what? Interested in what? Do you have a business opportunity? Because I have this life-changing product that I think you would love. Are you interested on sex chat? Are you there? Have you tried essential oils? I work as an independent businesswoman with Young Living and I have some products that I think you would love. What products? These oils have changed my life. Oh, I want sex chat. Looking for horny females. Emails. When my mum was diagnosed with cancer, I was approached by a fellow boss babe who recommended Young Living Oils to me. I dabbed some on my mum every day and she passed away peacefully. Bye! <laughs> These oils are truly a cure-all. I haven't vaccinated all 10 of my children and the three that lived are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> you had way too much fun with that one. If you actually respond normally to these sorts of guys, they're never going to stop. So you have to do this. You need to annoy them. You're making them leave. They're like, oh God, I need to get out of here. The hunter has become the hunted. Hi, baby. Your daddy is here. Daddy want to bang you, baby. Daddy want to lick your PSY, baby. Baby, daddy's waiting. What? Daddy want to eat your PSY, baby. My what? Sigh. Like this sigh. Oh, I love that they did that emoji. <laughs> that sums up this whole conversation. Huh? <laughs> That's how I feel about you. That's how you feel about them. Everyone's confused and creeped out. Perfect. Someone asked me for a nude, so I sent them a really zoomed in picture of Gordon Ramsay's forehead wrinkles, and I said it was my cleavage, and then they sent a wanking video, and now I'm in tears that some guy just wanked over Gordon Ramsay's forehead. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Please, who hasn't wanked to Gordon Ramsay's forehead? Oh, Reddit, I love you. That's so hilarious. We were just talking about sending armpits and guys bums. People are getting creative. Gordon Ramsay's forehead. That's a new one. Don't get me started on Gordon Ramsay's forehead. Oh my. I'm good. What are you up to? Not much. You? Just boy stuff. Like baseball? Nah. With a wet emoji. Oh, video games. Nope. With an eggplant. Oh, eating vegetables quietly. This is the same girl from before, isn't it? That's the exact same profile picture as before. That's so good. <laughs> Just boy stuff. Oh yeah. What does that really mean? No, I'm working on my car, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean just boy stuff? I don't even know what you're talking about, really. Just boy stuff. We're not all creepy, bro. Don't bring everyone else into this just because you want to eat vegetables quietly. Doesn't mean we do. Hi. Hey, how's everything? Gucci, bro. I miss you. Oof. Huh? Rest in peace. I'm confused. We went on like two dates. I'm single now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm with Nicolas Cage. I'm happy for you. Thank you. We're very happy. Sounds good. Let me know when you're single again. I think we actually might get married. It's okay. You can still hit me up. No, marriage is sacred. Oh, I see. What he doesn't know won't kill him. I'm madly in love with Nick. I would never do that to him. Jeez. Yeah, I understand. You do? <laughs> Are you sure you understand? I don't understand that you understand. I know everyone loves Nicolas Cage. 
stage, but do you really understand? I find that hard to believe, bro. Hey, hello, wanna play sex chat? You have lost penis privilege. A video of him jacking off. First off, I've never seen one that small. Secondly, mine's six inches flaccid and nine erect. So get on my level. I love that picture. You have lost penis privilege. <laughs> What's that from? Oh, that's the best. That's so good. Absolute small PP. Hi, I'm 45, married male in Istanbul. You? Oh my God, same. Okay, no. Like Spider-Man pointing at himself. I am also 45, married male in Istanbul. What are the chances? Maybe we could get together for a drink sometime. Is there a chance you're really creepy? Because I am. <laughs> we could be the best of friends. Here's a picture of my ding dong. Why is it so small? Is that a child's? Oh my God, I'm sending this to the police immediately. You need therapy. No child should go through that. A guy who I've never spoken to decides to send me an unsolicited photo. I decide to play Chris Hansen. <laughs> you would have scared him so much. Like anytime you bring up the police with these guys, they'll be like, oh my God, sorry, 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 sorry. All you girls are the same. Why do you all call the cops on me? Ben, can I get a pic? Yeah, sure. Here you go. A view naked. Okay, under the belt. <laughs> I'm under a belt, you funny boy, Ben. There's no way that girl's real. Like, that's not her profile picture, is it? Give me a pic, Ben, under your belt. Here you go. What else would you like? <laughs> I'm willing to do anything. I'm a lovely guy. That's the best thing you can do with these creepy people. You know, you're just having the time of your life. Hey, I'm horny. Send nudes. At fast, finally, really, a gentleman. Yet still, I refuse. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, right. Ha <laughs> ha. Laughing emoji, the appropriate response for a haiku roast. Hey, at least you tried. You didn't do a haiku, but hey, good attempt. Cut the dude some slack. He's trying his very best. Refrigerator. <laughs> That's about how good I am at writing haikus. Screw you. I want to see your ass. Here you go. Do you like that ass? Call me. <laughs> Give me a ring right now, please. I need to talk about this. I love it. I have a medical problem. Can you help? I don't know, man. I'm only on for urgent medical conditions. I'm a military medic. You might want to consult your doctor. I was trying to make a joke, babe. Well, medical conditions are no joke and you should take people's profession seriously. I've been in the army over a year now, so I've seen quite my share. Just stay safe out there. Okay, sorry. No need to be so serious on here. It's all for a bit of fun. I understand. I'm just clarifying. Ah, okay. I was going to say that I have a stiff problem and maybe you could help me out. Oh, we usually have a simple solution for that. Please don't say amputation. Amputation! Lol. Either that or we will do some solid sounding with a 14G Venflon. Look that up if you will. That does not sound like anything I would enjoy. Medical procedures are often unpleasant, yet they take care of the problem in matters of seconds. And this is a 14 gauge Zenflon. Say hi. They're all right. Hmm, I think I will pass. Are you sure? I promise it helps. Just the sight of that has caused the stiffness to subside. Seems that my job here is done. I believe so. You're welcome, citizen. I believe so. <laughs> You went along with it in the end. You decided to not be creepy. You were like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. I believe your job here is done. Guys, on that very confusing note, I'm going to leave today's video here. Sorry if I didn't have as much energy today as I usually do, guys. I'm a bit under the weather at the moment, but I'm doing my best. All right, let's read out the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day goes to Spooky Ghost Lad. I've been subbed for a few days now, and I just have one thing to say. Keep doing what you're doing, my friend. Thank you so much. I will. I was laying in bed last night, and I was worried. I was like, oh my God, dude, is all this going to disappear? I have those worries sometimes. And I said to myself, Vince, all you can do is keep doing exactly what you're doing. Keep having fun and enjoying yourself and it can't go wrong. And I think that's absolutely right. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you for all your support. It really means so much to me, guys. You're the best. All right, I'm going to go and make a tea with some honey in it. <laughs> guys, have a lovely day. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new videos. I'll see you then.